Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we're out on the BBR 170. This is our first ride after breaking it in and we're gonna go rip up a trail. We got Luke and Chase behind us on that 300 TPI, sick bike. But since doing the BBR 170 build, we still got a little bit more tuning to do on the carburetor. It doesn't quite run perfectly yet, but we'll get that dialed in shortly. Now here we were going up this trail up to one of the lakes as just a bit of a tester to see kind of what this bike would do in the trail sections after doing its break-in period, which I was, I was pretty impressed even for having the carb not set up correctly. The bike was doing pretty awesome and it was a lot of fun, just didn't rev out all the way and doesn't have all the power that it should. Now when we come up to this lake here, we find some a little bit unfortunate that uh, I'm not too stoked about. We ended up spending a little while putting out the ground that was on fire, which you guys will check out here. That's f What the f man? Just leaving it smoldering. Idiot. Now you can see the ground is actually burning and you can see that the fire is actually going outwards around. So if we didn't come around and put this thing out when we did, it could have had the whole forest up in fire because you can see the ground literally looks like charcoal. Oh dude, no, so the ground's on fire. Oh yeah. Holy f boneheads. Um, I guess I'm gonna slam a beer and start dosing it with water. We had no containers or anything, so we had to make do with what we had. You know what really grinds my gears, guys, is when holes like this leave a fire and the whole ground was burned up we just spent like the last hour out here putting this thing out people man hate when they do that stuff i'm really still interested to see though how this cheater dies this cheater tire this shinko 525 525 505 i can't remember now still gonna dial this carbon too it doesn't want to rev past 8,000, and it should rev to almost 12,000 rpm so i'm not too sure what's up with that this is before I put the D3 exhaust on, and it turns out it was exhaust. I just want to test out some of the hill climbing capabilities and see if the power made a difference. Oh, dude. This thing climbs it so much better than the stock 140. It also rips along pretty good. All right, we're at this absolutely fantastically cool spot. Woohoo! Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Cheater tires working pretty good. Gotta watch out, this stuff's loose. Oh, these spots are sick, man. <laughs> oh, that's glorious. Way too much fun. So if you guys remember, before I did the BBR rear suspension, you know this is where I was saying, it really sucked on the KLX. Well, now we got the BBR big bar camshaft suspension, and it feels dialed, man. <laughs> feels so much better. So much better. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Yes, even in like fourth gear, you can still pop that front tire. Over the whoops, that's awesome. Keep in mind, that's with the bike not even running 100% yet in stock exhaust. Awesome, boys. Whole new bike, man. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. This is awesome now. This bike handles it so much better than before. Dialed, feels absolutely dialed. It's actually fun to ride this on this bike now. I mean, it was fun before, but so much better now. Hell yes, boys. 
where the big bore kit's the best. super sketch we were just coming down this road and the bike died i thought it blew up and uh it turns out i was like oh is it spark did i lose spark and then i look at the spark plug spark plug was lean that's no good so uh we stopped checked the drain plug on the the carby it had fuel it had barely like it was dribbling ever so slightly amount of fuel so it looked like it was out of fuel turns out we're almost out of fuel. This thing drinks fuel like a monster now. And then we looked and Luke has a flat front tire. So we're done for the day. I'm out of flat, we're done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down below, click the like button, click subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.